The American people have been trained to expect to win. Marianne Williamson has New Hampshire all to herself. The best-selling author turned progressive outsider candidate is challenging President Joe Biden, whose Democratic National Committee is taking steps to end the century-long tradition of the first in the nation primary. New Hampshireites are clearly open to independent thinkers, to progressive thinkers, so the DNC just tried to shuttle that off to the side. Uh, you know, it, it's also obvious. Williamson says she's fighting against not just a rigged primary, but a rigged economic system. We need to do the things which they do in every other advanced democracy. They are considered moderate positions in every other advanced democracy. Universal health care, tuition-free college and tech school, pam family and paid sick leave. My God, a guaranteed, a guaranteed living wage and free child care. She understands taking on an incumbent president is no easy task, but she believes it must be done. President Biden is does what he can to make things better for people who are having to live with the consequences of an economically unjust system. I want to end the unjust system. Williamson tells us she learned from her 2020 presidential campaign about choosing her political battles. I think the main things I learned were emotional and psychological lessons. There are some voices you need to ignore and some voices you need to speak back to. I learned that you need to counterpunch sometimes. Having done this before, Williamson starts with an advantage, a small but dedicated group of supporters already on the ground here in New Hampshire. We had a lot of good people working together as a team last time she ran here in New Hampshire, so we're excited to get back together again. In Hampton, Adam Sexton, WMUR Anybody News 9. Else?